patients arrive with a long history of going to um, medical providers who uh, take the symptom of earache, do an ear examination with a speculum, an otoscope, a little scope that goes in the ear, looks like a, um, a, um, a little light with a magnifier on it so you can see down inside the canal. And the provider, medical provider, ENT, nurse practitioner, and convenient care cleaner will look down in there to see if they have any evidence of infection, which leads to inflammation. Infection is a infection of usually bacteria creating inflammation, which causes the pain. One of the characteristics of inflammation is the creation of pain, besides the creation of redness and swelling. So when the provider looks down in the ear canal with a otoscope, a speculum, looks like a little funnel attached to a, a little light on a handle. You've probably all seen them in the doctor's offices. What they're looking for is they're looking for redness and they're looking for swelling uh, that would be consistent with infection down in deeper areas of the ear canal. The ear canal, of course, you all know where the entrance is to your ear. And then there's a canal of about a centimeter or so in length to the eardrum, specifically called the tympanic membrane. Most people call it the eardrum. And that's as far as you can see. You can see down in there as far as the eardrum and then there's evidence of swelling or redness. Then the diagnosis is made of ear infection, at which point then a broad spectrum antibiotic will be used. The most common amoxicillin, which is a very broad spectrum antibiotic. And if there is an infection in there, we'll usually decrease the infection and the inflammation within a couple of days, and the pain will begin to decrease. Ask your dentist if they are a TMJ services provider.